While Bay Area school districts are seeing a spike in demand for more student lunches, but it's complicated now because many are scrambling to find enough people to actually prepare and serve those meals. NBC Bay's Marion Favreau is in San Jose with a look at the staffing shortages and how districts are trying to handle what's a very big challenge. Here at Stone Valley Middle School in Alamo, workers are prepping food to serve students lunch. But the San Ramon Valley Unified School District needs a lot more workers in the kitchens. Right now, they have 19 openings. It's all hands on deck, and we make changes and adjustments, and we even have our own uh, the staff from the central office that pull together and um, come out to the sites and help serve. Zena Riker, sure District Director of Child Nutrition, says the need for more workers spiked when the state started providing free breakfast and lunch to all students, regardless of income. Well, at San Ramon Valley, the number of students has participating in the lunch program has more than doubled. The district hired 44 new food service workers, but it's still not enough. School districts across the Bay Area are battling a similar shortage of kitchen employees, including in the Cupertino Union School District. According to a study by the California School Nutrition Association, low wages and inadequate hours are the greatest contributors. What's the impact on the quality of food? At San Ramon Valley Unified, when the demand for meals first surged in 2022, the district nutrition director says they relied a lot on heat and serve meals, but now they're focused on batch cooking as they work to recruit more people to serve the healthier meals. In San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.